Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Urha, Hakodash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and His only begotten Son. His name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation to all the sincere Akim that are doing this work on the highways and hedges, risking their lives. All right, to, of course, preach the gospel, which is the good news, unto the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, which are the Israelites. Of course, you confusion the face, Israelites, which uh, look like the heathen, all right, where you've been scattered to, all right, but you are, in fact, Israelites by, of course, the spirit, all right, being bearing witness with the spirit of our spirit that you are the children of Yashala, all right? You know, your lineage going back to, of course, uh, Israelite by the house of your father, all right? By the bloodline, all right? Uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, you know, I got another lesson, all right? I'm the brother of Mapa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp coming again with this truth, all right? Just, uh, uh, you know, uh, be, of course, diligent, and of course, uh, you know, edify and such, all right? Of course, uh, we measure the time diligently, you know, and our salvation is nearer than what we, uh, you know, believe, you know, r roughly paraphrasing, you know, and, uh, you know, we see all this wickedness and such, all right, but, um, you know, we have to, of course, wake up of our people up to all of this wickedness, all right, that's going abroad, all right, so this is uh, off of rtnews.com, and it reads, Voodoo ritual leaves five-year-old girl with third-degree face burns in Massachusetts. All right? And that's here in the States, in America, which is Babylon. All right? It says here, um, you got a photo here, and it says, uh, a woman dance voodoo, uh, voodoo, a voodoo it's like a, a ceremony in Port Au, Au Prince, Haiti. All right, you know, Slacky, uh, my French is not um, nowhere uh, on point at all. I'm not, uh, you know, a, a so-called Haitian or Levite or no, uh, the language of uh, the Creole, which they speak, okay, which uh, they were conquered by Edomites, uh, which are the French, all right? Uh, but anyway, we're going to go on to it. Uh, it says, uh, and, and yeah, Slacky, the Haitians are uh, actually... Uh, Israelites, they go back to, of course, the tribe of Levi, which is uh, Loya in the Hebrew, which means join to me. All right. So let's go on. It says uh, two women have been charged with assault and battery of a child after a cleansing ritual on a five year old girl during during which they cut her. Rubbed a stinging substance into her eyes and held a flaming torch to her face. Okay, which this is this is a uh, wickedness. All right, on the left hand side. All right, voodoo. All right, which uh, the Levites are it's like, yeah, the Levites. All right, Levi, right, a lot of the Haitians. All right, they, they're uh, into all of this, which is wickedness, idolatry, all right? And it's in a, in a, a religion, all right? Uh, which Yahweh Shem Yashah didn't set us up with religion. He set us up with law, statutes, commandments. And he, of course, uh, commanded us to call upon him, all right? As his, uh, as he is our power, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, all right? You know, so they're going off here, all right? Doing these rituals, all right? It reads on, the bizarre ritual was commissioned by the girl's mother who believed evil spirits were making her misbehave. So, you know, they're saying that, you know, uh, this mother is uh, accusing this uh, daughter, her daughter, which is only five years old, of having demons putting on her and such, right? Making her misbehave, all right? It says the Brockton Enterprise reported, it says here, two sisters, Peggy, La Bossier, all right, French last name, 51, and Rachel Hilla, Hillier, it's lucky if I'm mispronouncing the name, you have the, the nigga bitch right here, no, uh, Rachel Hillier, 40, agreed to help performing the ritual on the child in her, their home in East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. The ordeal the girl went through was 
described by the girl eight year old brother. All right, her so the brother described the whole, uh, you know, the account. All right. So it goes on and it says, who said the woman threatened to behead him with a machete, a machete, all right, a machete, okay? It says, uh, one, and you can see they going off, they got that hand mic, uh, you know, they got the dreadlocks and all that, which that's a way of the heathen, that's a heathen custom to have their dreadlocks in, in their heads and such. But anyway, you're going to continue. It says, one of the sisters sit. A second. One of the sisters lit a stick on fire and blew flames over the girl's face while the other sisters together with the girl's mother were holding the five-year-old Dune. And it says the boy said, it says they repeatedly cut her with an object resembling a needle, drew blood and applied an irritating substance to her eyes. The torture, like a like ritual, left the girl with third degree burns. So he got bunt up and such. It says to her face permanently mutilated. All right, so her face is. Uh, when you go into this term mutilated, we'll get the definition real quick. It's gonna be. Good. It says inflict vilely disfiguring injury. All right, so her, her face is all mangled. All right. Mangled up from all of this, all right. Getting you know held down by you know, um, as it reads, uh, it said, uh, one of the sisters lit a stick on the girl's head, and one of the sisters together with the girl's mother hold her down. Yeah, they're getting held down, all right, and then getting this ritual performed on them to uh, take off demons or something, you know, going doing some exorcism and stuff, you know, which is this is wicked because it's on the left hand side, all right. How about Shimei Al-Shad and set up things to be done like this with Vu'u, alright? It says the woman saw nothing wrong in the injuries they caused the girl. Telling the police that sometimes their patients, alright, get bunt when evil spirits leave their bodies. It says they claim to have vast experience in Vu'u practices to... It's like in reform, re it's like a routine, re routine, routinely, so like it perform cleansing baths, burning frankincense, myrrh, and other incense. Both deny intents to harm the child, pleading not guilty on all charges on Monday. It says the woman are due in court next Wednesday to determine whether they pose a danger to the public and should remain in custody after uh, the basically the investigation. It says among the charges the woman faced are mayhem, all right, assault and battery, using a dangerous weapon, causing an injury, and indecent assault of a minor. It says the girl's mother, who is of Haitian descent, which that's a byword, Haitian, it's bullshit, all right, uh, was not charged. And is go currently undergoing treatment in a mental facility, facility, uh, facility, f facility. All right, the boy was transferred to foster care, and that's they breaking up the families and everything. All right, and so we gonna start hitting these precepts now. All right, because this is just the wickedness of uh, a lot of these uh, so-called Haitians, which are Levi. All right, uh, Loya in the, in the Hebrew. All right. And they, they were the priests, all right? You know, uh, set up um, originally for the nation of Yasha Allah of Israel, all right? So we going to get a precept to support it. Um, let me see. It says, uh, this is Numbers. Um, I'll just start here at 49. Numbers 1 and 49. It says, only thou shalt not number the tribe of Levi... Neither take the sum of them among the children of Yasha Allah, but thou shalt appoint Loya over the tabernacle of the testimony, and over all the vessels thereof, and over all the things that belong to it. They sh shall bear the tabernacle and all the vessels thereof, and they shall minister, which means serve, unto it. 
in shall encamp round about the tabernacle. All right. So, you know, the Levites were set up to, of course, do the priestly duties. All right. Of course, and they uh, went off and such. You know, and uh, you know the the uh, Yahweh Shemuel Shai opened up, of course, the the priesthood unto all of the rest of the nation. All right, of the twelve tribes of Israel. But uh, to go on, um, we hit another precept. Uh, this is Deuteronomy uh, thirty three and ten. Uh, are actually uh, eight. It says. In Levi or Loyah, he said, "Let thy thumen and urim and in thy urim, all right. So the urim and thumen, all right, be with the holy one, all right. Which uh, no, you go into that. Um, you know, we we got the modern day uh, urim and thumen. You know, being uh, you know, we can see, of course, uh, all of the, the different uh." Things you know, we got the uh, like they say, like that's going into um, like the ancient, you know, being the stones and all that, and they be able to, of course, see, you know, uh, things like different sins and stuff that was committed and such, you know, uh, the Levites and such. But you know, we got a, a Roman Thurman and stuff too, you know, here and here in these times too, you know, our cell phones and such, and of course, we got the unicorn of the internet. But anyway, we're going to continue on and such, you know. But they, they were set up to have the priesthood. That's the point, all right? But anyway, it says, um, Whom thou disprove at Massah, and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Mirabah. And it says, verse 9. Or actually, I'm going I'm to skip down to verse 10. They shall teach Jacob, Yaquab, all right, thy judgments. In Israel thy law, they shall put incense before thee and the whole burnt sacrifice upon thy, thy altar. All right. So, you know, the Levites, they were set up, you know, over the nation of Yasha'Allah, you know, to, of course, be the lawgivers and all of that. All right. You know, like uh, Aaron and um, uh, you say like Moses and such. All right. They're, of course, a part of the, 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 the priesthoods and such. All right. Levites. All right. Um. But uh, now I'm just going to hit now another precept, all right? This is going to be um, Exodus, uh, the 22nd chapter. Because uh, when you go into uh, what these uh, people are doing, uh, the people that's doing voodoo, that's um, witchcraft, okay? It's on uh, the left-hand side. It's not of the Most High, of Yahweh Shemir Shai. So it's wickedness, all right? So this is Exodus 22 and 18. It says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live all right so you know we should put of course a witch to death all right you know these wicked ass uh people of course you know that's doing uh you know uh these uh abomination these the detestable acts such as uh voodoo, all right you know and they they do all type of witchcraft and sorcery right so you go into it it's uh Um, let me see the Hebrew word here is let me see is that kashap? Let me see just to make sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. Just give me one moment. Mm. Give me one moment, slack you. I can bear with me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was right. Slacky. Yeah, ka, ka, a ka, slacky. Ka, sha, and a pa. All right. So, ka, shop. All right. That's how you say that. And that, of course, means to practice witchcraft or sorcery. Use witchcrafts. All right. So, you know, anything, anything dealing, of course, with, um, of course, conjuring up spirits and all of that, you know, on the left hand side, you know, that's, that's wickedness. All right. You know, summoning demons and such, all right? And that's what these, these fucking uh, Levites, uh, you know, so-called Haitians, they do on the left-hand side, the wicked ones, all right? You know, because there's, there's, there's uh, of course, uh, righteous, um, you know, things, of course, to be done, like curses. We got, you know, we curse people uh, in righteousness on the right-hand side of Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai, 
all right but these levites uh they on the left hand side doing uh left hand side energy all right you know it go you know, you go into the history they got haitian voodoo right haitian voodoo um it says known as voodoo uh sometimes voodoo all right it says practice chiefly in haiti and the haitian diaspora pra practitioners are called voodooists it says are servants of the spirits all right no spirits are on the left hand side it says voodoo voodooists believe in a distant and unknown unknowable supreme creator which uh you know that's that's uh that's that's off because you know uh the the god of the israelites are the the uh the god the god of the israelites all right of of our, of our nation is yahweh bashem all right and anything other other than that is uh is wicked and off and is idols all right it said voodooists believe of a distant unknowable serene creator it says bondi derived of derived from the french term bondia i can't pronounce it right meaning good god all right and that's not the name of the most high all right the name of the most high is yahweh all right which means he exists all right in the hebrew all right it's not this uh bondia and all this bullshit all right um and we only before supposed to serve the most high yahweh okay which uh let me just go into exodus real quick just to you know bring out some you know the law of course which you know levi's supposed to be of course practicing you know you know knowing this loss and of course uh you know keeping it right this is exodus 20 and 1 it reads in in the most high yahweh bashim yahweh the powers right spake all of these words saying i am yahweh it's the most high which you go back in the hebrew it says the most high's name okay right yahweh right there all right that's the most high name it's not yehovah either that's an improper way of course of pronouncing it that's what the fake false jews uh pronounce it in yiddish all right which that's a uh, bastard tongue is not pure Lashawan Kodash Alright It's not the pure tongue It's not the holy tongue Alright It says I am Yahweh thy power Which Have brought thee Out Of the land of Egypt Out of the house of bondage Alright Cause he of course Delivered us out of the Of course uh, Out of Mizraim Alright Under the hands of the other Hamites Hamites Alright Ham Ham Right Sakya Ham and um, you know they, they they which means hot and uh, they of course had us in the slavery and they of course practice all type of witchcraft and stuff all right because we're not of course Africans all right as it's written also in Exodus uh, that be eleven and seven let me see I'll get it real quick this is uh, Exodus eleven and s is it seven this thing put in it's like you exo this right 11 just give, just give me a moment this thing this blue letter always just be acting just so stupid man i, I just can't stand when this these computers is just so wrong you know just don't work anyway going on so it's Alex, it's like exodus 11 and 7 but against any of the children of israel shall not a dog move his tongue against men or beasts that ye may know how that Yahweh doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Yasha Allah in Israel. So there's Egyptian, there's a, there's, there's like, there's a difference between, of course, the Egyptians, which of course go back to, of course, the Hamites, all right, their forefather Ham, all right, and the Israelites, which, uh, you know, are, are, you know, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, all right, you know, and the Levites are, um, part of course the israelites all right israel yasha allah the prince he the prince of power and uh, these these egyptians they're africans all right so-called all right and you know there's a difference and the difference is being that of course our spirits okay you know and they of course aren't having been set up with law statutes, commandments in order all right they of course f worship all type of false gods and such and idolatry all right so let's uh go back a couple uh tabs give me a moment just so i can get it 
Cause this thing wanna act stupid So back to Exodus 20 and um And 2 Right Um Alright start at 20 and 3 Thou shalt not La ah Is it Is it uh It's like a uh, I was going about to go into Hebrew But anyways uh, It says Thou shalt have no other gods before me Alright So You know when, uh, You know We ain't supposed to have uh, You know Any of these idols Alright You know um, We not supposed to serve them We supposed to serve you How about Shem Yavashai Alright um, You know um, You know And that's what these fucking uh, hate, Haitians you know, that's a byword. Fuck the Levites, all right? These wicked ass uh, niggards, all right? They they that they, they want to of course do uh voodoo and stuff. All right? It's crazy. All right? Cuz we have our own power, Yahweh, all right? Um let me see. Let me continue in this uh voodoo thing here. Um it says voodoo uh it says Voodooist Bandai does not intercede in human affairs and thus they direct their worship towards spirits sub subservient to Bandai. Alright, so they of course serve demons, alright? And that's an idol. That they all idols, alright. It says call Loa. Alright. It says even Loa is responsible for a particular aspect of life with the dynamic and changing personalities of Loa reflecting the many possibilities inherited there that to the aspects of life over which they preside. To navigate daily life, voodooists cultivate personal relationships with Loa, a demon, right? Uh, through the presentations of offering, which is sacrifices, all right? And they sacrifice them onto idols, and that's against, of course, the law of statute commandments, all right? Because uh, the Levites, they used to, of course, uh, you know, uh, deal with, of course, the different uh, sacrifices for the nation of Yasha'Allah when, of course, we would sin and go off. You know, they used to carry out all the different uh, sins. I mean, yeah, the offerings and such, sin offerings, which the Israelites would bring onto them. All right. But, uh, you know, that's what they was commissioned to do. But they doing stuff on the left hand side here now. All right. It says creation of personal altars and devotional objects. And participation in elaborate ceremonies, d music, dance, and spiritual possession. All right, and that, that's where, of course, you 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 know you dealing with fucking, you know, being uh uh under the control of a fucking demon. All right, you know, and that's that's what we are dealing with in this article and such. They saying that this uh this this child has uh, these spirits, and then they just gonna go do voodoo on it. All right. This is Exodus 20 and 4 And thou shalt not make any graven image Or any likeness or anything under the That socket like that is In the heaven above or that is In earth beneath uh, Or that is in The water uh, under the earth Alright why You know you're not supposed to of course make these images Alright which they, they you know the voodoo These people they do do all of that and stuff And they worship them right This is why alright Exodus 20 and 5 Right, thou shalt not bow thyself to them nor serve them. In which you know, you when you in the voodoo and stuff, which is a religion on the left hand side, you of course are serving these false gods. All right, it says, For I am Yahweh, thy power, I am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Which that of course goes into generations, all right, into reincarnation, like you, all right, you know. So, um, you know, Yahweh by Shimei, I was shy. He only wants us to serve him and not any of these uh, idols and such, which you setting up. All right. You know, um, let me see. I think there's uh, some more in this. Yeah, this is uh, Exodus 20 and 23. Ye shall not make, make with me God's. Of silver, neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold, all right, idols, right? An altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, meaning Yahweh, and shall sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, which the Levites, the so called Haitians, did, you know, back in the past, all right? But now they're doing this, this, this fucking voodoo shit, all right? And thy peace offerings, thy sheep and thine oxen, and 
all places where I record my name, which is Yahweh. I will come unto thee and I will bless thee. All right. And if thou wilt make me an altar of stone, thou shalt not build it hew of stone hew of it of hewn st hewn stone for if thou lift up thy thy tool upon it thou hast polluted it all right uh let me uh go now uh slacky uh to um babal i mean slacky um <laughs> this is uh jeremiah slacky <laughs> go to babylon it's confusion because you know you're dealing with confusion with these fucking you know this voodoo shit all right, it's all shite. All right, anyway, going into it, um, this is Jeremiah. Uh, this is off actually in the Prophet letter of Jeremiah. All right. Um, so uh, it said chapter one. Um, in, in my Prophet, um, it's uh, it's a uh, part of book like you know, you, it's in the Baruch, right? In the Baruch. Uh, it says here, right here, it says Epistle of Jeremy. Uh, uh, chapter six. All right. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go into uh precept. Let me get it. All right. Um. Yeah. So this is uh. I'm gonna just start here. Letter of Jeremiah one and four. Now shall ye see in Babal and Babylon gods of silver and gold and of wood borne upon shoulders, which cause the nations to fear. All right. Beware there, therefore that ye in no wise be like to the strangers, meaning all of the other Gentiles, you know, all these uh, fucking heathen that are outside in the nation of Israel. Neither be ye of them. When ye see the multitude before them and behind them worshiping them, all right. So we of course not of course to worship any idols, all right. But say ye in your hearts, O Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, O Lord, it got here. We must worship thee, for mine angel is with thee, and I myself care for your souls, all right. You know we do have of course the the angels, which work for. The Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai as servants, all right, and they of course uh, do the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai, all right. And we pray to Yahweh Bashem Shai and not unto angels, but you know. Anyway, going on, um, it says, as for their tongue, it is polished by the workmen, and they themselves are are get, get it and lay over with silver. Yet they. But false, like yet are they but false? They and cannot speak, and these idols they can't. All right, you know they're not, they're made up bullshit. All right, it says in taking in taking gold as it were for a virgin that loveth to go gay, meaning happy. All right, they make crowns for the head heads of their gods. All right, um. Let me see. I was just something else if I wanted to bring in. Uh, you know, basically when it goes into it, when you read it, it tell you not, of course, to f f worship these these false gods, idols, and stuff. Because of course they um uh, they kind of they can't do nothing. All right, for you. All right, you know it's wickedness. All right, supposed to of course uh you know worship your how about shimmy all shy. All right. So with that anyway um. You know, I'm gonna just close off on that. You can read the rest of this and such, all right, on your own, all right. Uh, I suggest, of course, to do so. But you know, we already hit the point here. You know, voodoo ritual leaves five year old girl with third degree burns, uh, you know, um, in Massachusetts. You know, so beware, of course, of this wickedness and come up out of this if you are participating in this, all right, type of stuff and come into your heritage being an Israelite, all right. You know, follow the law, statute, commandments, all right. So with that, I'm going to say, Call Allah, Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Racha, HaKwadash, Brakata, Yahweh, Brakata, Yahweh, Shai, Brakata, the Most High, of course, and His Son, all right? You know, and then, of course, in the last one, Kwadash, all right, in the Holy Tongue. 
Of course, Baha Shem, Racha HaKodash, coming in the uh, name of the Holy Spirit as well. All right. You know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, broke a thumb to all the Akim out there that's doing this work. All right. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that rule well. All right. Of course, uh, you know, you, 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 you uh, sincere Akwat that are listening and learning. You know, if you into any of this stuff, you got to come up out of that because it's wickedness. All right. Pray unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, and, uh, you know, uh, that's it. All right. With that, Shalom.